Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom, starting a new week of what I cooked for dinner. I'm actually starting dinner tonight. It is about noon, so I wanted to go ahead and get my meal in the crock pot going, so dinner is ready by like 5 or 5.30. This is like one of my go-to soups. I've talked about this for years. It doesn't even really have a name. I kind of just call it like my sausage and veggie soup, and the reason I don't really have a name is I do variate the ingredients that I put in every time. So today, um, I like to use what I have in my produce drawer, like what I need to use up. So I use some green bell pepper, some diced jalapeno, some shredded carrot, some red onion, so you can see all that in there. I have some pork sausage cooked up. This is the Jimmy Dean pork sausage. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this here. I'm also gonna add um, this salsa. It's like a medium salsa um, from Walmart, really good. So it's about, I don't know, a little over half a jar. I'm going to add that in. I'm going to add some chicken broth and I'm also going to add some white beans and then kind of see what I need to add from there. But I'll show you guys what it looks like before I set the crock pot to cook. All right guys, I added in the salsa. I added in the, um, the Swanson broth. It was only about a third of a container so I had to add more broth and let me tell you guys this stuff is bomb it's the free range organic imagine broth from BJ's I'm, I'm sure you could get it other places it is really good um, I also added some garlic powder some oregano some thyme some salt and pepper or no excuse me just pepper no salt the sausage has plenty of salt and so does the broth um, so I'm just gonna stir it up I'm gonna set it on low until 5 5 30 and then later when it's time to eat, I, all I have to do is boil up a little bit of pasta and then I serve this over pasta. So you guys, you guys know, I will show you what it looks like later. To me, stuff going in the crock pot never looks as good as the final result. So I'll see you guys around five o'clock when it's time to eat. Hey guys, so here is how dinner came out. That soup is absolutely delicious. Instead of ditalini, I actually had some orzo to use up, so I just threw some orzo in, uh, and it cooked perfectly. It tastes really, really good and flavorful, and I also did some little Texas garlic toast for us uh, because I wanted some kind of bread on the side, and I had this in the freezer. So we're both going to have a nice big bowl. It's a really hearty soup. It has all your veggies, and the beans make it really hearty. So this is how it came out, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm getting ready to start dinner tonight. I'm making a shrimp and noodle stir fry. Uh, so I have some different veggies here. I've got some cabbage, red and green. I've got some red pepper. Um, I've got some shredded carrot. I've got some jalapeno, um, all fresh veggies that I'm using. Um, and then I'm just gonna saute this up in a little bit of toasted sesame oil because uh, it definitely, veggies definitely need um, some oil to get nice and cooked through. So I'm gonna get this going. I have a big pot of water that I'm waiting to come to a boil. I'm just gonna boil some spaghetti noodles. I have my shrimp in the fridge all thawed out, and I'm gonna make the sauce for it, which I'll show you guys what I use to make the sauce. All right guys, for this sauce in this stir fry, I'm gonna use some uh, reduced sodium soy sauce, some cuisine sauce, a little bit of peanut butter, and then some garlic paste. I'm also gonna use some um, honey but it actually honey solidifies after a while so I'm just have it like in a hot a bath of hot um, like warm warm water to liquefy it and then I'll add a squirt of honey in with this toss the noodles and the veggies together and then my shrimp is already cooked so I'm just gonna warm it up in a fry pan and then I'll toss it all together it's gonna be really good All right guys, noodles are cooked. I have the sauce on the bottom of the pan and I just tossed in the veggies and the shrimp. So I'm just gonna work this all together now and I'll show you what it looks like when it's plated up. I'm gonna garnish it with a little bit of sesame seeds. All right guys, so here's what the shrimp noodle stir fry turned out like. Uh, this, the sauce sort of uh, darkened the noodles to kind of be like lo mein colored noodles. The shrimp's nice and hot and the veggies are all sauteed up. I did just put a little bit of sesame seeds on top for garnish and it came out really good. I don't really have like a true recipe. I kind of just throw a little bit of this, a little bit of that in. Uh, but you could easily Google like a noodle and a shrimp stir fry kind of thing and it will give you tons of different um, ideas online because I don't really have like a set measurement amount. I Again, I just throw in like a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So it came out really good though. I did taste it. We're going to dig in and we'll see you tomorrow.
Okay guys, so I made a pork loin tonight. There is a small piece left here, which is perfect for leftovers. So we have some pork loin and it's seasoned. Um, it already comes seasoned, but I did add some uh, like Montreal uh, chicken seasoning on top, which you can see kind of forms like a little bit of a crust. And then I did get these little potato company potatoes. I was on a huge kick with these a few months back, but they are pricey, so I'm only gonna buy them every once in a while. Um, so I got the tomato basil flavor. You just add a little bit of olive oil with the seasoning. Just some good old plain mixed veggies. And then I left a little spot for some applesauce. Because uh, we like applesauce with pork. So Matt's going to have the apple cinnamon. And I'm going to have the mango peach applesauce. But yeah, this is dinner tonight. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, super easy dinner tonight. We just got home pretty late from therapy. So uh, I made some of the CPAC brand breaded clams. Um, traditionally they're fried. Um, but I just like to bake them in the oven and they get really crispy. You just have to turn them halfway. And I also made some of the Walmart brand Great Value potato wedges. They're already seasoned. Again, um, you just bake them. I baked them actually together on a huge sheet pan with the clams. Um, and then instead of tartar, we're going to have ranch. So here is my plate and Matt's plate. I'm having a little less. I'm not really that hungry tonight. I actually had a late lunch. And we actually had a half of a large... Um, Korean pear to use up and they're really expensive so you want to eat them when they're nice and fresh and get your money's worth so I just cut up um, half the other half of the pear and then split it between Matt and myself so we just wanted to use it up like I said really easy dinner tonight and we'll see you guys tomorrow hey guys for dinner tonight I did the Rana brand uh, chicken mozzarella fresh ravioli or sorry tortellini um, and I did toss it in a little bit of pesto I just um, today I have this pesto from Aldi I use all different brands I like the Rana brand pesto as well so I'm having some um, pesto tortellini a piece of the garlic Texas toast Matt's having the same thing but a little bit more and then we're both having some side salads and I put some wonton strips on top and these are the ones I like from Walmart they're really good. I think they're a good alternative to croutons, just something different. So I've got some romaine salads with some uh, green pepper, some uh, cherry tomatoes, some cucumber, some shredded carrot, some purple cabbage, just kind of whatever I had to use up. And tonight we're having the Planted Organics Raspberry Oregano. This is one of the companies that I do work with. Um, I work for them when they do festivals and like craft fairs and art fairs um, and vendor fairs, but this time of year in the winter, it's kind of desolate for that kind of thing. Um, so, you know, when they're in my area, when it's festival season, most likely I'll be working with them again. But yeah, this is my favorite flavor from uh, their line. I like all their flavors, but this is my favorite. I have a permanent discount code with these guys. Um, if you ever wanna check them out, it's down below in the description box in every video. So I'm going to toss the salads with that. You just need a little bit, and we're going to dig in. And this is our simple dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Guys, for dinner tonight, I did breakfast for dinner. I used the Nature's Own um, Thick Sliced White Bread, which is perfect for the eggs in a basket or hole in the bread, whatever you want to call it. There's a bunch of different names for it, but got the nice egg in the middle, really yolky, and then a hash brown. I think these are from Trader Joe's. I just fried them up in a pan. Some maple sausage. Um, so we're having the same thing except I'm having one less sausage and then we're having some of the Simply Lemonade, the Raspberry Lemonade. Yeah, really easy dinner tonight and we'll see you guys tomorrow. So this night here was my birthday night. We just did some appetizers because it was sort of that in-between hour after lunch and before dinner. So we just did some cheese and crackers. I made some guacamole and put some chips out. We had shrimp cocktail and these are some mango sticky rolls from Trader Joe's. And the star of the show, my mom made her garbage bread. It's like a pizza bread. Uh, very, very easy, but she makes it homemade and it's one of my favorite things from her. It's absolutely delicious. And then instead of a cake, my sister actually makes really good cupcakes, so she made some rainbow chip cupcakes with vanilla frosting. Hey guys, I am just prepping dinner for tonight. Um, I do this quite often, especially the days when I'm working from home. I'll take like an hour out of my day, um, usually kind of after like I eat lunch, and I'll kind of prep some dinner, um, especially on busy nights when we go to therapy after school. So I am doing sausage parm stuffed like zucchini boats. I do have a video on zucchini boats, but it's a different version. So the one I'm doing tonight is like a sausage parm and the one I have a video on I think is like a turkey taco one. But I do it the same way. But all I do, you know, is add different ingredients this time. So 
I've got two um, pretty good sized zucchini that I just cut the stem off, cut lengthwise, and then I just use a spoon. You could also use a melon baller would work good to scoop out the middle so it forms like this bow. And you want to get a good amount of the filling out. Um, FYI, save your filling because this you could saute up or chop up finer and throw into like a soup or something or you could roast it. I never throw out the inside part that I scoop out. I always use it. Um, I either freeze it or I put it like in a Ziploc and I'll use this later when I roast up some other veggies. I'll throw this right on the sheet pan. So definitely don't throw that out. It's perfectly good. Um, so all I'm going to do now is stuff the inside with the sausage. I like to use this Jimmy Dean sausage the best. Um, I've used it for years. It just works really well. It tastes really good. So I'm going to take this out of the casing stuff it in here. I'm going to top it with some Trader Joe's marinara. Normally I would use my own marinara, but I don't have any left. Um, I actually have to make a batch, I think in my next food prep, um, and then freeze a whole bunch. So I'm going to go with the store-bought this time. Um, so I'm going to put this on top, and then I'm going to season everything. Uh, pepper, salt, garlic powder, olive oil, and of course Parmesan cheese to give it that sausage parm flavor. So I'll show you guys sort of a bit of the process and I'll also link the other video I have down below on these in the description box. So I just drizzled a little bit of EVOO salt, pepper, and garlic powder on the um, zucchini before I stuffed them. I just put the sausage in there, super easy like you guys saw, and now I'm just going to top the rest of it and get it ready to go into the fridge so I can pop it in the oven right when we get home from therapy. The sausage will shrink, just an FYI. And I'm making sure I'm not touching the meat with the spoon because it's raw and obviously I don't want to contaminate the sauce. Just an FYI. You can also spoon this into a bowl if you want to make extra, you know, be extra careful not to touch the meat. I love this Trader Joe's marinara actually. It's a really good um, like store-bought sauce. I really like the flavor and I like a little heavy on the sauce as you can see. You can do as light or as much as you want, but I like it a little heavy. Okay, so sauce is on, and I'm just going to put the cheese on now as well. And I like a good amount of cheese. So I do kind of a first layer, and then go over it again. And obviously, um, I add a, you can add a little bit more when it's done baking. But yeah, this is a really good low carb um, option as well if you're doing like keto or low carb. So yeah, this is all ready to go into the oven. I'm just going to wrap it in some saran, pop it in the oven later, and bring it all together. And of course, I'll show you how they look when they come out. Hey guys, so here is dinner, how it came out. The zucchini boats look really good. So we're each having one. There are a couple left here. So we might have like, sometimes we split another half of one. Um, but they're pretty filling. So we have the zucchini boats. And then I made some of the Trader Joe's jasmine rice, just a little bit of butter in there because it really tastes good on its own. And then we're having some of the New York style Texas toast. It's like a garlic Texas toast um, bread on the side. And this is our dinner tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's What's for Dinner. Have a great day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>